Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Wayne Tisdale from 21C Metals. Did I get that right, Wayne? That's right. I'll tell you what I love is the name is the trading symbol, Ball. And you've yes. got palladium. Uh, we've got palladium for today and cobalt for tomorrow. So why don't we start with the palladium since palladium is, is the bull market presently. Well, what, what, how I, it's, it's a little bit of a, more of a story. How I ended up um, with uh, both projects is uh, last year I sold U.S. Cobalt to, uh, to First Cobalt. Uh, we uh, started it about two years early, spent about $10 million, and we got $140 million back for the thing. So I thought I was doing pretty good. So I went into uh, uh, Germany and the Czech border and took a big project on for um, copper cobalt. And then as the cobalt market sort of deteriorated a little bit, I uh, started to look around for the alternative. And um, I ran across David Sutcliffe, who's a well-known project generator, and um, I purchased a... Um, a very good palladium uh, prospect from him in uh, Ontario, uh, 80 miles or 80 kilometers east of or west of uh, Sudbury. So it's right in that right in the area. So we have a really good project in there. We have um, 522,000 ounces indicated uh, 43101. We're going to two million ounces. It's very mineable, very pitable. It's, a, it's in, in great shape and it's drill permitted. So we're starting drilling in the next couple of weeks. Okay, so that just leads into the news release. I was going to ask you about, you've got a 21C Metals closes transaction to acquire 43101 inferred palladium resource. And of course, this yeah. is the Ontario project you're talking about, correct? Right. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Okay. And so can you just tell me what we should anticipate as shareholders with the Sudbury project here over the next quarter or two? Well, I think you're, what you're going to see is us increase the size of the uh, indicated uh, reserves. Uh, we're putting one drill on immediately, and we'll probably have the second one on in July. And it's a pretty simple project. We're just drilling off a known structure. Um, it's it's open pitable. It uh, dips at 55 degrees. It's got the one one to one ratio, uh, stripping ratio. It's a pretty simple project. Uh, and so we're just going to drill it off and uh, take it into that uh, two million ounce uh, reserve. And of course, Wayne, here at Investor Intel, we're always recommending that investors really look at the patterns of the CEOs and the leaders, the management in the various companies. Your track record is Im impressive. So we're going to encourage investors out there to look you up and find out more about you. But I have to ask, with all of your successes, why in the world would you want to do another exploration company? I have I to love ask. <laughs> you know, I, I, um, I love it. I um I enjoy myself. I love the spirit. I love the chase. I, I can't imagine not doing that. It's just uh, it's the most fun thing I can do. Okay, so with that in mind, speaking of loving the chase, I see that you've gone to the Czech Republic, and we've also been following different markets worldwide that you should be getting into. Why the Czech Republic? Um, well, it's 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 both. It's on the Czech Republic border, and it's a huge concession. It's fifteen thousand hectares, and it was in a time capsule. Um, it was first discovered in the 1300s. It was mined, and then there was a head frame put on in, um, I think, 1898, and it stayed up for maybe 10 years. And it was caught in the Austrian-Hungary uh, Empire War, and then it got uh, taken out by the First World War and the Second World War, and then it sat, and the Soviet uh, came in, and uh, the state government of, uh, of uh, Czech formed to come, and they went underground. And they did a little bit of drilling. They maybe did, I think, 500,000 tons over the next 10 years. It was sort of a make-work project. They did a lot of underground drilling. And then in 89, when the wall came down, they sent a team of geologists in for the next uh, about six or seven years. And then they closed it up. And it was that's it. There was never any science done on it. So I thought that was an interesting, intriguing possibility if you could take our today's science. And our concession is the size, pretty much the size of the Timmins camp. So we have a huge concession. We have, uh, and I took it, some well-known geos, Paul McGuigan, in, who's a VMS specialist, and we determined we had a volcanic um, mass of sulfide. So we are pretty excited about it. Okay, so what should we anticipate with this particular project, say, in the next quarter or two? What's, what's next? We're going we're to drill it off, define our, our structures, and um, hopefully we're going to drill off a large ore body. That's our, that's our uh, goal. Because of your background in the resource sector and, 
and of course your background in the investment community. I'm also going to ask you, Wayne, if you don't mind, if you can speculate on where the cobalt market is going. We've had a lot of ups and downs through this last year. I'm being told it's coming back into, into fashion presently. What's going on? I, you know, it, it's, a, it's a strange one to watch. I mean, I, I, we got so lucky in our uh, takeout of U.S. cobalt because I think cobalt was at $42 a pound. And it looked like it was never going to stop. So um, we, uh, we were fortunate to have a buyer. And then it, it's, it's just continuously fell off to, I don't know, maybe $17 to $20 a, a pound today. It, it seems that it should come back. There's a shortage in the Congo. They're, they're not producing. Um, it's, it's, a, it's an interesting story. I think it will come back. There's so much emphasis on the electric vehicle market. Now, the reason we went to Palladium is because what we noticed in the whole, so we thought we'd have both sides of the market. And the reason we went to Palladium is because what we've noticed in, in the European, they are now calling for more hybrid cars than they ever had before because their infrastructure isn't there for a total electric thing. So we think we got about seven to 10 years of hybrids in, in that area, so which leads to a very high palladium price as well as a cobalt price. So I think we've got both areas covered. Well, Wayne, it was such a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us today with 21C Metals. Good, thank you.